Talk to our political reporter, <laughs> Olivia Utley. I mean, as I was saying to Charlie, this should be done and dusted now. Shouldn't it? I'm, f I'm fed up of talking about this. I've got party gate fatigue. It certainly should. And this, of course, isn't even the final report. This no. is simply the interim report. But its findings are pretty damning. And let's remember that this committee has a Conservative majority on it. And what it's found is a it's delivered this 23-page interim report showing four different ways in which it believes that Boris Johnson misled Parliament. Now, Boris Johnson had come up with some bolshy quotes on it, saying that it would set a dangerous precedent if he ended up being uh, removed from the Commons, which is now a really quite serious possibility, because if the findings in the report are so damning that they warrant more than a 10-day suspension, then under House of Commons rules, uh, it would go to a by-election if one in 10 people in his Uxbridge constituency, I think it's a given that there would be one in 10 people in the Uxbridge constituency who would want to see a by-election, it would trigger one, uh, which... Boris Johnson, we know that his majority in Uxbridge is, is very slim indeed, and it could well see him actually leaving the House of Commons. So the, mm. the, the, the phrase that he's fighting for his political career has, has never been more apt, a really overused phrase, um. but accurate in this instance. How much truth do you think there is? We've had some views in this morning suggesting this is a Labour stitch-up because Harriet Harman, the prominent Labour politician, is, is fronting this committee. The Sue Gray report, um, obviously Sue Gray is now going over to the Labour Party to become their new chief of staff. I mean, Boris Johnson on the front of the Daily Express today is calling it a cynical stitch-up. Do you think there's any truth in that? Well, obviously the timing of it is interesting, this interim report. Why is it being released right now? Um, in some ways, one could argue that it sort of validates Sue Gray's findings in the original report at a time when Sue Gray's findings are clearly under the spotlight, rather. On the other hand, these select committees are made up of... It's not mm -hmm. like it's a, it's a straight Labour stitch-up. As we said, there are, there's a Conservative majority on this committee. Yes, Harriet Harman is leading it, but there are plenty of Tory MPs in there, some of them real Johnsonites. Uh, so, so sort of to suggest that it is entirely a stitch-up, I don't think would completely be fair. Also, some of those quotes coming out of the report sort of speak for themselves. You don't really have to imagine what the committee's own view on it is. There's a, there's a quote from Boris Johnson saying in November 2020, this must be the most unsocially distanced gathering in the UK, yeah. which... Uh, does it seem to speak yeah. for itself, rather. It does. Interesting, though, because, I mean, with the, with the Sue Gray appointment and everything else, people have said, why, have, why has Labour done this now and what have you? Mike's been in touch. Hi, Mike. Who says, as a swing voter, I would have been voting Labour at the next election, but not now. They're showing themselves to be vindictive and only want to destroy the Conservatives at all costs. Which is, I mean, it's interesting. I don't know how widespread that sort of view would be, but there is certainly a possibility to say, well... Why is there so much focus on this, And even if it's only perceived focus from the Labour Party? It is interesting, and I think there's been a, a feeling for a while now that this election is going to be Starmer's to lose, but one could argue that he's doing a pretty good job of, of trying to lose it. We know already that... Uh, Every week, Labour is beating the Conservatives in the polls by, by sort of up to 20 points, but sometimes even more. Uh, but Rishi Sunak, the gap between Rishi Sunak's personal popularity ratings and Keir Starmer's popularity ratings is actually very small. Starmer's leading, but Sunak's close behind. So it seems like Starmer's popularity is the thing which the Labour Party need to be working on. And whether this Sue Gray coup has helped Starmer's reputation, well, there's a certainly a question mark over that. Mm. Mm.